Hello everyone, this is Tushar this side. In this video, I wanted to show you my preferred way for switching between multiple Java versions on Windows. During my research a while ago, I found a couple of ways available out there for this job. And the most common two options were either uh, manually changing the environment variables or using a batch file to automate this to some extent. Um, since I wasn't very satisfied, I ended up developing my own little automated utility using native Windows platform, um, which I would demonstrate very shortly. So to recap the common options for switching, the first one of course is the manual switching. And for the benefit of those who don't know, uh, here is how you do it. So basically you need to open the environment variables and you would generally have, you would have actually two variables here. One is Java home and the other one is GRE home and of course another one called path so all you need to do is actually set or point these uh, variables to your uh, JDK or JRE location so for example currently I have my variables pointed to Java 8 so let me show you the Java installations on my system so I've got a JDK folder here and on this system I've got JDK 8, 9 and 10 and currently my environment variables are pointing to Java 8 so if I want to point them to let's say Java 9 all I have to do is edit or create a new Java home and provide the path to this folder like this and then the JRE folder we'll skip that for now and then we would also update the path so if you got any other um, Java version specified in your path you need to take that out like here I've got JDK 8 and then put in the new path and in the end add a bin like this one so once you set all those three variables um, that's how you do the manual switching so your system will point to Java 9 after updating these three uh, variables so let me revert this back Um, once you have pointed this uh, to the required Java environment, you also need to verify whether the changes have taken effect. So for that you will need the same old uh, command which is Java minus version and you will get the result to whatever Java environment you are pointing to. Now the downside of this approach is of course it's a uh, if you have to do it frequently it's quite cumbersome involving more time and effort uh, you would also need to know uh, what what Java versions you've got on your system which is and which one is currently active and you have to manually resolve these paths every time before making the changes now the second most uh, common option is to create your own batch file uh, which does automate this process to some extent and here is how we generally do it so I've got uh, some batch files here and if I open it in a notepad for this one what you need to do is um, <coughs> basically knock up a simple batch script and you would use the setx command to set the each variable um, and in the end you need to append this um, slash m which actually tells probably that this is a system variable um, so you set Java, Java home, JRE home and the path so every time you want to uh, switch to a new version uh, all you have to do is just double click the required batch file and you would get all those three variables set now the downside of this option is firstly you have to um, have multiple batch files one for each version secondly again you when you knock up the script you need to know the paths and you have to hard code those paths here uh, and the third problem is um, when you set the path variable it would not take out this this particular batch file wouldn't take out the previous path set in the path variable so so are you you would end up having um, the, the path containing both JDK 8 and JDK 9 uh, unless you do some more uh, advanced uh, batch file programming to uh, remove the existing existing path from the path variable and then set it so like in my case here let's see what we got in the path so we already had the Java 8 
in our you know existing a variable had this and uh, when we ran the batch file it it depended another um, java environment which is nine so we ended up having both so unless i do some more um, you know batch file scripting um, this, this will be the problem while setting the path variable so either you don't set it or you can you know do some more programming in another problem is that uh, you know this batch file these batch files are not very portable when you move on to new machines uh, you might have to adjust your paths um, accordingly wherever the java is installed on the, on those machines and provide the appropriate paths so before we move on to the third option uh, let's uh, set our environment back and for the last time let's uh, check what we have got if you've got everything correctly set yep so moving on to the third option uh, what I did was um, out of all these uh, downsides of the options which we just discussed I ended up creating a small uh, VB script utility uh, which does automate you know all these things and takes away all the downsides of these existing options so let me show you and um, this utility is available on uh, github so if you want to use it you can i will provide the links to the github url and uh, as well as the batch scripts um, in the video description this is just one um, script file which uses wmi and vbs and it's really handy it does the job very well so all you need to do is uh, just double click this script file it will prompt you for uh, you know privilege and here you go so what it does is is automatically scans um, all the J Java versions installed on your system and it will list what versions it has found it will also list the JRE versions it will also list uh, currently set Java home and JRE home and the path variable and this it does uh, you know as soon as you double click so it will uh, provide all this information and then there is there are some uh, options where you can choose in so it starts a little interactive mode and asks you questions based on what what it has found on your system um, so for example currently I have um, I have Java home set to 8 GRE home set to 8 and the path set to 8 as well so if I want to let's say move to uh, switch to Java 9 so I have to choose one option let's say um, my option would be here is set all the above which is java home jari home and the path and now it will be asking me uh you know one by one question about which java which jdk version which jari version so now it's asking about the java home variable so i want to set it to java 9 so i'll say number one jari number two and path number one which is java 9 so I can run this again now just to see what is uh, what's the what has been set so as you can see now my system variables for Java home are pointing to 9 GRE home is pointing to 9 path is set to 9 it also uh, takes care of uh, removing the old path in the path variable and setting it to the required version so this is what I use it's quite uh, easy uh, I am and this addresses all the downsides of the previously discussed options so it comes quite handy as mentioned you can uh, download this utility if you want uh, from the github and uh, i'll show you the path from the github so this is the github page and uh, here is the project so you can download this script from here and it's quite portable as well so that's my preferred way of switching between uh, java versions on windows machine i uh, hope it was helpful guys uh, thanks for watching thank you bye bye